Hi everyone, I'm Lynn and this is Pixie. Welcome to our garden in southwestern Pennsylvania, Zone 6. We live on a wooded acre with lots of hills and valleys and uh, we grow a lot of different bulbs in the spring, uh, a lot of uh, perennials like the columbine here. I love iris. These are a native iris and then we've got bearded and Siberian iris too. Pretty colorful in May. That's the entrance to my circle garden. In late May, the arbor is covered with complicata single rose. And then the other roses come out in June. David Austin roses, the clematis, native beard tongue here that lo pollinators love. That's rose de Recht, which is very fragrant. And all of my roses are growing on their own roots because of our cold winters. The daylilies, the roses, and the lilies all sort of to bloom together in June. And then July, it's really daylily season. Got yarrow and helenium that bloom along with that, and even a perennial foxglove that Pixie loves. You can see how wooded the garden is. And we're all surrounded by trees in the back here, and it's very wet at the bottom of the garden which allows the Annabelle hydrangeas to really flourish. And I've gone from three of them divided into about 20. I garden for the pollinators, so we have lots of butterflies, bees, echinaceas, very popular. Here you can see the steep slope of our hillside. And that was the original steps, which were very tricky. So we replaced them with stone along with some stone walls. And now that faces south, and it's pretty glorious in September when all of the rudbeckias bloom. That agastache, our native agastache, is always covered with pollinators. And there's lots of tall flocks in there. The garden is very lush, really until the end of the season. This is what it looked like when we first moved here, uh, just an open space, and we put up a fence and an arbor and the seasons just sort of roll around uh, from really February till October. So you can see this is uh, late June in July, the monarda and the grasses, that's tufted hair grass, uh, are blooming. And then this is in September when the gra other grasses start to come out and the tall perennials for the pollinators. It is a pollinator garden certified and this is October. Even in winter, the structure looks great. This structure is in the back of the house when we first got here and inspired me to do my circle garden. So I drew circles on the ground and planted a weeping cherry tree in the center, added an arbor and a paths, and this is how I start every morning, walking through these paths, enjoying the light at different times of day through the seasons. Pixie loves to come with me on my journeys and that uh, hydrangea limelight becomes a star there by the entrance. I prune it like a tree, and even in the fall, its beautiful colors blend in with the autumn leaves. And in the winter, it still has structure and shape, and the snow catches the snow. One last look at the circles from above as they change through the seasons, through the spring, through the summer, and into late, late fall. I hope you enjoyed your visit to our garden.